But before I let you make sweet love to me in the beginning, there's one burning question plaguing our minds. Kenny wrote this by himself, by the way. I just sing what? it. Well, if you ain't ready for me 24 7, then I'm kicking your damn door down. If you ain't ready for my kind of loving when I come in your town. If you ain't ready for a hugging and a loving and a sucking long necks down. If you ain't ready for me 24 7, then I'm kicking your damn door down. Swear to God, that's a hit. This is not good. <laughs> that is just wrong. And everybody's hey, You don't saying, need to put that on the film to my mama or nothing. <laughs> We're gonna go to the winery. Very bitter. Very bitter. Very good. So here's to being in Portland, Oregon. And uh, we just found out, by the way, that our album is platinum. So here's the platinum, boys. Do y'all have like young maidens? We do hire, we do hire a team Boostiers. of maidens. That stop um, grapes and they have grapes. long braids. Yeah, if you guys know any, um, we do definitely know a lot. We do. pass on their resume. And the simple truth is you got a choice in life, man. It's just a, just like turning the light switch on and off and be happy or you can be sad. And John and I prefer to be happy. The sky is my ceiling, the ground is my floor, and the world is my one big happy home. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. good. You guys good. are What's so your name? Melissa. Hey, John Rich. Nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to see you. Are you coming to the show tonight? I wish I was. Why aren't you? Because I don't have tickets. Why not? You want a ticket? Yes. Well, we'll get you a ticket. It can get kind of crazy sometimes. You get two individual personalities who are into two totally different things. I mean, they're, they're both from two different planets. Stop! I'm a guard snake. What's that over there? It's kind of like herding cats. Wet cats. Just like a a bunch of chickens, you know, like you see Rocky one when Mickey has Stallone like chasing the, the, the chickens and the thing to, to learn to be quick. It's just like that. Just like that. This gig's a bitch, but somebody's got to do it. Hey, y'all doing? Pretty good. You? Don't you wish you had my job? So, are you, are you giving samples or what here? Sure. I mean, you got a glass? No. Well, pour the water out. <laughs> Dump your water. Pour the water out. out. This is their, um, Zinfandel, Columbia Valley, the Pines Vineyard, 2000s Zinfandel. She's she's a different nothing wine, better than wine, wine out of a kind of plastic sewer. cup. That's some You're good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Other than that, I make music when I'm not pouring wine. All right. We wrote a song called "What Would Jesus Drink." And you've seen the wristbands WWJD. What would Jesus do? And uh, <clears throat> not out of you have to hear the lyrics because it sounds disrespectful just to hear me say "What would Jesus drink?" But it's basically uh, pointing out the fact that. You know, Jesus goes to this party and they run out of wine. He can, he could have turned to water into anything, you know? He could have turned it into Dr. Pepper. Why didn't he pick that? You know, when the wine gets really big, when it gets really good, you just grab that old bottle, you look at her and you say, hey, baby, I don't think I'm gonna go. I don't think I'm gonna even go to the glass. I think I'm just gonna just wrap my lips right around you. I'm gonna drink until my thirst is gone. Now that's a good scent for now. Where'd everybody go? Ladies and gentlemen. To me, but when country music was the greatest, was when it had all the characters, you know? Minnie Pearls, Johnny Cash. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, hey, right now, everybody's trying to find their seat and get a beer. Which is why we have stuff like Black Rapping Cowboys and the Universal Ministry of Love, Big Kenny. Brothers and sisters, we have gathered here for one reason, and one reason alone is to share our love of music. We present to you country music without prejudice, big and rich style. Yeah!
ruling is the ballad of Big and Rich. I actually had the groove. I was playing that on my guitar and just I was sitting there jamming it. And John came in there, and next thing you know, he's picking up a guitar and he's going, you know, just he's playing that riff. That was when we really decided, you know, we just gotta, we just be ourselves, man. Because they're not afraid. It's like this is what we are and this is what we're gonna do. And then you got a bunch of suits that'll sit around and go, oh, I don't think you should do this. I know you really shouldn't do that. And they're like, whatever. We're patient. We know there's a few people that are gonna go, that ain't country music. If we say it's country music, guess what? It's country music. 25 was a man in black. A rock and roll used to be about Johnny Cash. Hey, what you think about that? Make welcome to the stage, Mr. Cowboy John. Don't get don't get it, don't get don't get this. Something in the breeze from a barbecue brisket. Got more chalk than a little potato salad. Thought you had your answer, but your answer wasn't valid. Looking at me crazy because you think I'm loco. The big black cowboy with the fuzzy loco. But I like my soda, I can eat my Noriva. Thank you, honey, no, I know you are. I think our music is just going into an artistic place maybe nobody stepped into yet. If it's making us happy, that's what we're going to put down. And that's what's it's really that simple. The whole point that we're trying to make out here is country music without prejudice. My ears are ringing really loud. Your ears ring. Uh, if it's a good show, I got to be out of breath, stabbing pain, headache, ears ringing. That's when you know, man. It's like every week it escalates to another level of energy, man. These crowds do. It's like the, the longer our music is out there, the the more insane the the dynamic they have, you know. Our music's just starting to become galactic, but what we feel like when we're out here playing in front of these crowds every night is that it already is galactic. People that give you so much, they're, they're, I mean, they were just cramming up against the stage tonight. Mm -hmm. You just gotta get yourself back, focused back, because now we gotta go talk to 30 or 40 people, you know, that are waiting in a line to talk to us. So you gotta dry the sweat off and, uh, and try to get your head back together, because what you wanna do is pound about three shots or something and then, you know, and scream. Big and rich, going to Las Vegas. So much has happened in the past 30 days, man. You guys have done like crazy well. We found out that we were, we were doing the Jay Leno show. We were backstage at the Jay Leno show. Don't tell anybody. Visit CMT.com for more adventures with total access big and rich, like bonus video clips, fun photos, and freak parade viewer polls. While you're there, check out other total access artists.